Welcome everyone to your manifestation video for March. Okay guys, this manifestation is the three reasons why your manifestation might not be working. Why are, why, why am I manifesting and nothing is coming together? Um, so these are the three reasons, main reasons why your manifestation may not be happening for you. Um, the other one really, one of the biggest ones might be, it's just not the perfect timing yet. So let's always keep that one in mind, okay? But if it's been a, quite a long time and we're still trying to figure out why it's not coming through, these could be the three major reasons why your manifestation is not coming true, okay, or happening or coming into fruitation, right? So getting straight into this, um, number one, we are using the Law and Attraction cards with the Manifestation cards plus a couple other decks. So going straight here, number one reason, I am the creator of my own life experience. Do you understand that you are connected and that you are a co-creator, co-creating your existence? Are you preserving your rights as a co-creator? A lot of people, you know, it's like they put in all this work, you put in all this work, and then all of a sudden you start doubting that you can make something happen, doubting that something is going to, to take place. Well, I put in all this work, but nothing is happening. That doubt right then and there killed the seed. You just killed your own seed. Why number one? It always takes time, right? So did you kill your own seed, right? This is the universe is always trying to co-create with you, but if you are not connected to it, and to your higher self, the divine, and not communi communicating with them, right, then you will not be receiving everything that you have done. Pretty much, that's it. Just make it nice and simple. Okay. Universal language with the universe is emotions. E as an energy in motion. The energy you send out, how are you emotionally talking to the universe? If you are getting things you don't want, you are sending that message to the universe, which is saying, I don't want that. So you're giving the mixed signals to the universe. Are you giving mixed signals? So you have to ask yourself, am I giving mixed signals? Am I planting the seed and then saying, oh, geez, I don't think I'm going to get that. I, I don't know. So we literally have to think about how we're using the language. Remember, we did a video once before. Those of you who are new, I'll go ahead and say it again. This is don't play ball in the house. Universe didn't hear don't. They heard play ball in the house. I don't want, I don't have, okay, then you don't have it, good, I didn't, I'm not going to give it to you, watch the language, watch the mixed signals, once you are aligned, you can manifest everything in life, car, house, love, money, wealth, health, make sure your energy is intense, be intense with your energies, words and actions, go get what you want in life and everything, Go get it. Be happy for it. Put out that emotion. Remember, though, what do we know? High emotions, low what? Intelligence. High intelligence, low emotions. We want to put out those emotions, those high in vibrations. When you're in a lower frequency, you can also manifest. Super low vibration also brings in manifestations. Think about it, you're yelling, right? Screaming, right? I don't care. Okay, you don't care. You just put out that because you're in such a low vibration that it actually ends up a very high vibration, right? Because you're mad, you're frustrated. Think about the kind of energy you're putting off when you're super mad, right? So you have to tell yourself, am I you know, working against my own manifestation. Sometimes we do. 
I'm going to manifest all this and then I'm going to get in a very low frequency and then say, I guess the universe doesn't love me. I guess the universe doesn't care about me. I guess they didn't, it's not good enough for me. Well, we'll get over there, over here, because this is where it's saying you are worthy, right? That'll be number three. <laughs> okay, so over here is talking about persevering. Who would have thought that the humble acorn could grow into a mighty oak tree? But of course, this takes time. Whatever you are involved in, this card brings a message of reassurance. Your hard work and continued effort and dedication will come to fruition. You are asked to prefer to preserve and trust within the universe. Where's your trust? Maybe you were asking and maybe you were putting restrictions on something. Are you restricting things? Are you saying, are you telling the universe, I have to have it at this time? Well, if you have to have something, the universe does not have to have it. Because the more we feel we have to have something, the more we won't have it. No, you need to trust and align yourself with that item, with that thing, and get rid of the need, the have-to-haves, the neediness, right? And then, of course, number three is part of the lack, right? Okay, well, that goes right back to the third thing. <laughs> and now we're just doing a, this big loop over here, right? Snake eating its own tail with this one. So it says, I am the creator of my own life experiences. I can co-create with the universe. Okay, so making sure that you understand you can do this and that these are things you can do. Be the spiritual warrior that you are, the pathway of the spiritual warrior and the calling of your own soul. Make sure that you understand I am and I can do this. As soon as we, you know, stop doubting, then things will start coming in. I think for, you know, a lot of it too is also timing. People get caught up in timing. Well, it should have happened already if it was super aligned with me. No, no, because sometimes we can't align with certain things and sometimes it might even take months or years to become aligned with that certain situation. God may be telling you it's not time for you to have that just yet, but we're going to keep you in alignment. We're going to keep you mutually attracted to the situation. And there's another thing. Are you mutually attracting what it is you truly want? Now we're going to talk about those vibrations, right? Right back to those vibrations. How is it that I'm vibrationally? Am I in a, am I putting it towards my subconscious? We're going to talk about that over here because that's going to be the TFA, right? Thoughts, feelings, and actions. That's one of the biggest ones as well. Aligning your thoughts, feelings, and actions. Making sure that you're taking those things. So are you really mutually attracting what it is you want? Are you really connecting? Are you truly connecting your thoughts and your feelings to the universe of where you really need to be? That is a called an alignment. Okay. And that one over here is going to be awareness in the now. That's here. Take action now. Okay, positively responding to your system as well. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, making sure that you're definitely aligned. You have to be in alignment. This is a process. If everybody in the world could just manifest everything that they wanted deeply, deeply, it would be so easy. It's not easy because you have to align your subconscious and you have to feed your subconscious by rewiring your mind into getting what you want. Uh-huh. You actually have to rewire your mind. Why? Because you have to take out the doubts, the fears, things that were fed into your mind as a small child, things that say, I can't have these things because I'm not worthy enough, or money doesn't grow on trees, or, you know, or they're better than I am and I can't get that. <clears throat> Those things, right? We have to rewire our minds to tell us. And sometimes, we think we're rewiring our minds to tell us those things because then we say, you know what, I'm going to mutually attract this. But then all of a sudden, that little ego mind comes in and says, it's been months, you ain't getting that. And then you start doubting. And who knows, maybe it was right around the corner. You have to keep that fast thinking. You have to keep that ambition. You have to keep that emotion going. Always defend your rights. Another reason is not letting it go. Um, the reason we let it go and don't expect it like that or put any kind of restriction on when it has to be here, <clears throat> the number one reason I figured out why we're letting it go is because otherwise we're thinking about it too much. 
when we think about it too much, then that's when we can actually start having doubts, fears, and worries that it's not coming, right? But if we let it go and let it do its thing, then you realize all of a sudden you get that message, you get that up, you get that promote that promotion, that proposal. You just keep doing your action and keep doing what you need to do to get there, but not expecting anything out of the outcome. You see what I'm saying? And that's why we let it go. And I realized that when I was doing manifestation, because I was like, how do you let this go? You know, I really, you know, want that. But then I kept saying, okay, well, if I really want it now, I'm not going to have it because I want it too much. True. No, by letting it go, says I'm surrendering to the universe to allow it to either come to me or not come to me. And I'm not waiting for any kind of outcome to the situation. It either is or it's not. And this also gets rid of any kind of, um, well, sometimes we become obsessed with the situation. If you feel like you're becoming obsessed with the situation because it is something you truly want, this is why we need to let it go and surrender. Obsession is not going to make the outcome any different. It's kind of like when I say um, worrying is not going to change an outcome because it doesn't. Worry just makes you sick. It gives you a headache. It makes you stay up at night. But it doesn't change an outcome because it either is or it's not. And that's the same with manifesting. Either it is or it's not. You're either going to mutually attract something that is good for you, okay, that you can have, or you're not. But there's no time on it either. And so if we keep trying to put a time frame on things, then we end up, because we're thinking about it all the time, we end up frigging that up. Do you see what I'm saying? We end up messing that up. So we have to really let it go, surrender it, and say, okay, this is what I want. Now I let it go. Because if I don't let it go, then I'm always thinking about it. When is it coming? Oh, my God, I hope that comes. Oh, my God, should I manifest it again? Oh, my God, it's not coming. Not, 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 not. You're manifesting it not to come. You're worrying it not to come. That's why we have to surrender and let it go. Stop thinking about it in those ways, right? Because you're obsessively thinking about something and it's not mutually attracting it. It ends up actually counteracting on it. Instead of magnetizing it, you're demagnetizing it from your life. I didn't think about that until I was watching this video and then I was like sitting there thinking, what demagnetizing is an obsessive? Yeah, I guess we all get obsessive about what we truly want. And then I was just like, that's why we let it go. Oh my gosh. Because then it becomes doubts, worries, fears. And then you start thinking, oh, it's never going to come. I've been manifesting this for like a year and it's not going to ever be, oh my God, listen to what I just said. If I could like totally record myself. Oh my gosh. And I'm not even kidding. Like I literally said those things and I was like, I caught myself in the middle going, wait, what the hell are you saying? You're not allowing anything. What if it was almost here? What if I almost had it? Now I just pushed it away. What if it never comes now? See, now all of a sudden you're, now you're saying all this shit because you're realizing consciously what's going on. And now your consciousness is getting all worked up. Now you're even saying more stupid things. <laughs> Just by me saying those things upon those things upon those things. Oh my gosh, I'm never going to get this now. Oh my gosh. And then I have to turn around and say, no, wait, I will get it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Too many minds going, right? You got your subconscious and this conscious and that. Oh my gosh. And then your intuition's like, stop it. Stop, stop, stop saying that. Whoa, wait, hold on. Yeah. Right? Now we're just going to, now we're just, this is just becoming a puddle of mud over here. <laughs> That's the, once you really realize what you're saying and what you're doing, you're like, oh my gosh. And then you got the ego over here and then you're like, wait, I shouldn't be saying that. And then your, your, your intuition's over here like, just shut up, right? Just, just shut up. <laughs> you're destroying everything, right? Oh my gosh. Gosh. So, yeah, it's like you're destroying everything. Now I understand why they say in peace comes solitude. Just stay still and be quiet, right? Okay. So, anyways, over here, it's I'm developing the skill to direct my thoughts. Now, this one's interesting because this is the one where this one over here is about the lack of, right, and feeling like you have... No, like I'm not worthy of that situation. But this one, 
I'm going to use because of thoughts and the way that you're directing your thoughts, feelings, and then taking action. Okay, so the biggest one next, number two, the biggest one is how are you taking action? Do you have the feelings? Are your feelings, feelings, emotions, and um, are you taking action aligned, right? So I'm not going to read the back of that because I already know where I'm going within this situation. Okay, so it has to be in alignment with what you want. See, this is aligned with the universe. So this one is take action now. This is a clear and a clear message that action on your part is needed now. Manifestation is not simply a process of vis visioning it and dreaming about your desires. When the opportunity is offered to you, you must also take action. Pay attention to signs and move forward fearlessly. Now, the thing that I like about action is that there are some people in the world that feel like, you know what, though? I've taken so much action that I can only take. Like, there's nothing else I can do. But there is more action you can do. The action for you could be um, making a vision board and then just hanging on the wall. And then the action is seeing it every now and again. Let go of it, but then, you know, as you see it, your mind is receptive to it, so your subconscious picks it up, um, that that's what you want. Um, you can also script. Scripting is a part of action, right? Writing out in the present, I have this, tell me how it smells, how's that new car smell, feeling it. And as you're doing so, you're visualizing. So it's also a part of visualization, right? Really getting imaginative. Think of yourself as a, the seven-year-old kid who's playing with your toys, Right. They're, little kids are really, in, you know, like this is teddy bear and he knows, you know, and he loves the smell of cupcakes. I mean, and they know how to smell. They know how to envision, you know, have that childlike mind. You're going to need it. And some people say they can't do that. And it's like, well, you better figure it out. You were given imagination for a purpose. Some of us are not as imaginative as others. When we say vision it, it doesn't mean you have to be literally in your third eye, actually seeing it in your third eye like you're dreaming. No, it's literally playing. And if you, you know, scripting is very good because the more we write, it gets into our subconscious mind. And that's when we really get those visions out. That's when you really start visualizing because you can go on and on and on about and be as descriptive as possible, right? And make sure that you're using those emotions. That's where the thoughts are coming out. This could be the biggest killer of you. Thoughts, the thoughts, feelings, and action, TFA. That is the biggest killer for almost everybody. And, you know, in some ways it's kind of crazy because I almost feel like that should be number one. If the only reason I'm not going to use it as number one and I didn't feel it was like number one was because when I was going over it, this one is really one of the biggest ones for most people. The, you're the killer of your own creation, right? By doubts, fears, and all of that. But number two is very important, though, guys. It's really, really important. Okay. Getting into that subconscious. The thoughts and feeling that activate that activates your manifestation. Are you giving yourself doubts? Are they negative or positive in your subconscious, favoring arc, or are you just favoring your conscious mind, favoring it? Meaning that just means you're just only in your conscious because your conscious doesn't manifest. It manifests so little, it's not even worth using. You need to open up that subconscious. That's why people write. Writing actually opens up your third eye and your and your uh, visualizations. It's your cre creative zone. Are they aligning together? Okay. Next, are your intentions aligned with your goals and dreams? Are they getting you closer or are you just getting further away from your actions? You need to be intense and align yourself. And when we get intense, what do we do? We use those words, those big words. Don't just say in your, don't just say in your 
when you're scripting today is a good day, you say today is a wonderful day. And make sure also when you're scripting that you're using the future, not in future tense, but today as you already have it, you already own it. That's another reason a lot of people can't manifest is because they cannot believe and rewire their mind to tell themselves, I already have this. Because a lot of people use too much of their conscious mind and they'll say, I'm not going to sit here and lie to myself. Well, then you may not be getting it, and that might be one of the three reasons you don't have this. Because, you know, it's, there's a, it is, it's kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy. But, a lot of famous people do it all the time. I have a million dollars, then all of a sudden they have a million dollars. They did something that made them a million dollars. Being in alignment, and a lot of people choose not to do those things. You don't have to go running around. And in fact, if anything, I have to always tell people, keep your manifestations to yourself. You don't go running around telling people, okay, I make a million dollars. You don't tell people that. In fact, your best asset for doing something is if somebody asks you how much money you make, you know, per year, go around the question. Don't answer the question at all because it could be self-sabotage. Don't worry about how much money I make. It's my business, right? I make enough. Why? Because you don't want to self-sabotage yourself. Mm -hmm. I know it's crazy, but it's true. You could literally self-sabotage yourself by just doing so. Because it could be going against your own manifestation. Well, I always help you all let you know how much I make because I'll, you know, I know what I, I know what I make. And maybe I'm manifesting something that I don't want to tell you how much I make because I want so much more. But if I tell you, then it destroys what I'm already have, right? Yeah, because you're planting seeds with strength. You see this infinity because everything is infinity. There is no such thing as anything. There's no such thing as not enough. Having the strength, the willpower, and the courage, understanding your passion and your focus. Right? Bringing your thoughts into alignment with what it is you need. Using your affirmations. Drilling it into your subconscious mind. That way you are thinking about it all the time of what it is you truly want. Doing the visualization practices. Sowing the seeds into your mind. Sowing the seeds. Yep, that's what he's doing. Having the strength and the understanding that I am becoming my own frequency. What I think about is on the frequency of what I want and becoming that frequency. You need to allow yourself to be on that frequency. That is the feeling. Right? Happy becomes exuberant. Sowing the seeds. Final part is your actions are aligned, right? To take action outside of your comfort zone. If you know that you need to take action, and action needs to be that I need to go over here, but it's comfortable here, then you need to take that step. You need to take yourself out of your comfort zone. Planning and progress. Looking outside of the box. Discovering new things. Putting yourself on the same frequency and aligning yourself with what it is you truly want. You want $3,000 a month? You write yourself a check? Make sure you avoid it out, guys, okay? <sighs> Put it in your pocket, put void all over it. Mine has void all over it, okay? You want $3,000 a month? You know, I, you know, you make sure that you put fucking void all over that. Maybe it's just extra cash. I want 30000 Put it in your wallet. Like I said, make sure it's voided. Everything's voided out. No one can get that in case something's stolen, okay? <clears throat> it's not usable. Um, and you put that in your wallet and you look at it. You visualize it. That's yours. I made this this month. That's what Jim Carrey did, and he actually made it. And I've actually seen a lot of celebrities do that, which is crazy. He put down that he was going to make $30 million or some shit, and he, and, actually, and he wrote a check for himself for that much money, and he actually made it seven years later. I think it was seven years later. Might be wrong. You guys can look that up, though. Um, it doesn't matter. I think, it was, I think he said it was on the mask is where he ended up making that money. I'm not positive about that either. I was watching this whole thing, but I was listening to so many other people too, like Oprah and everybody. But I was just like sitting there thinking, wow, you know? If they can do it, we can do it too. Just because they're celebrities doesn't mean that they're better than us. It means nothing. 
okay? That means nothing. That just means that they went and they decided that they want to be actors. That's the only difference. Do you want to be an actor? Then go out and act. Okay, most of us don't want to be actors, so we don't run out Jim Carrey. See what I'm saying? If you're the funny jokester guy, then go out and do what you need to do, right? Can't sit over here and say, oh, because they're so talented, they did. Well, that's what they were meant to do, right? And you're meant to do what you're meant to do. So take the first step and go for it. Even when you're uncomfortable or unfamiliar with the situation, because action always has a reaction. The universe will respond to your action. There's no such thing as taking action without a response. Okay. I love this one here. It says either drop relationships that no longer serve you and move on or make sure that they will come or what is it? Or it's time to level up. Sorry about that. Get on with, with extra communication and love and understanding. Either that love was meant to be or you can manifest new love to come in, right? Either let it go. If you say it's not worth it, I don't want it, then you can manifest something else. You do not have to stay where you don't want to stay. That's the whole purpose of manifesting. You are your own co-creator. I think what happens is in a, in a way we get to the point to where it's like we feel like this is the way that destiny went. This is the way we're supposed to be. This is where I'm supposed to be. There are nothing else. No, no. There are different roads and different paths. There's no such thing as just one path. It's just like somebody had asked me once before, um, tell me, you know, which path am I supposed to be on? Where is my life path? What do you mean where's your life path? You have this door, this door, this door. You choose your own destiny. You know how many different destinies I could have had? If I would have been the flight attendant that I wanted to be when I was a teenager, I wouldn't even be here doing tarot. I could only imagine. Then again, maybe I would be, right? We don't know because I didn't take that path. But then again, if I didn't take that path, then I might not have my kids. I might not have, you see what I'm saying? I wouldn't have my husband. Or maybe it was destined, it was fated, and you would anyways. See, well, we don't know that. Because you didn't take those paths now, did you? <laughs> you have many different paths. It's, that's why you have free will. Not everything is fated. Soul contracts. So most of your soul contracts are fated in certain areas. But it also depends on maybe which path you're on. That, oh, you're on this path, so now you have to run into Debbie. Oh, wait, you're on this path over here, so Debbie can't come in over here because it, you're doing something different. So eradicate that. Now we're going to run into Tom. Do you see what I'm saying? Maybe it works like that. We don't know. But manifesting says you co-create what you want. It's your life. You're in control of your life. That's the whole good point of the situation. There's only so many things that are fated, like your parents, your time of birth, you were born here, right? Knight of Cups. There it is. Walking with and following your heart. This one over here is saying number three, achieving success is my natural birthright. This is where you find out that most of the time, the reason your manifestations aren't coming in is because you don't believe you're worthy enough. I'm not Jim Carrey. I, I'm not worthy enough like that. I don't think I can have that stuff. Really? Interesting. When you believe that you have lack, then you have lack. If you believe that you have lack, you can't manifest because those who believe that they lack in, in money can't have money. Why? Because you're poor. You can't sit over here and say, I'm poor, I'm poor, I'm poor, and then try to manifest money. It doesn't work like that. Why? Because the universe says you're poor. Sorry, you're poor. You can't have that. You're poor. You can't have a Prince Charming coming in. You're, you don't have any love. Nobody loves you. You keep saying you're not lovable. Nobody will love me. I'm not good enough for marriage. I'm not good enough for this. I'm not good enough for that. Well, then you can't have Prince Charming or Princess Charming because you're not lovable. So the universe is not going to bring that person, that person to you. I'm not a good enough person for a person like that. Okay, well, then I'll bring you this other person because you know what? They need someone and I'll just bring you in a really crappy karmic and you guys can teach lessons to each other. Be hurtful for, to each other until you both learn. Good, I have the perfect karmic 
prepare for you. Uh, you remember, uh, you remember Josh from, uh, your last previous life? Now you don't, but your soul does, and it's like, he ain't doing very good, and you don't seem to be doing good either. So I'm gonna put you two together so you can learn some life lessons. God, no. Oh, God, no. Because you keep saying you only date shitty people. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this shitty person in because they don't believe that they can have anybody really good either. So you guys will be very well together. You can be very negative with each other and learn life's lessons the hard way because you don't believe that there's true love. You don't believe that people are good. Do you see the point I'm making? Ace of Wands. So therefore you're having lack. But the number one thing here is... Why your manifestation isn't coming in is because you don't believe that you're good enough. Ace of Wands, I don't believe that I'm good enough to have these manifestations. I don't believe that I have new opportunities. I don't believe that I'm good enough for these situations. And for some of you, you might be saying, I am getting, I don't know why I keep getting that. Spirit keeps telling me that. I think some of you are looking for really good love and you keep running into these really reckless people. And you're saying the reason I'm not getting, but I'm not getting my true love or my true, I'm not getting my true manifestation, but I am keep, but I keep bringing in my controlling ex or they won't go away or I keep bringing in the same kind of people. For some reason, why do I keep manifesting the same kind of people? That's because you keep that energy that you're not good enough for somebody better than them or something. Yeah, it's got to be that. It's the energy that you're pulling because no matter what, we attract what our energy is. So when you're in a lower state of energy, you're going to attract lower state people, right? Because that's what we do. That's what energy does. It's called law and attraction. That's the whole point of law and attraction. I attract what my energy is attracting. And this is why you keep attracting these lower people into your life. People who want to hurt you, step on you, um, lack of discipline, however they are. And I'm really getting that for someone. I, I, I don't know who that's for. Could be a lot of you, actually. Why do I keep attracting? I want to attract this really wonderful person, but I keep attracting this r really bad people. These people who seem the same because your energy hasn't changed. Your energy hasn't changed. So therefore, you're going to continue. You're misaligned with your values. Your values and the way that you're doing things are misaligned. You have to change that energy. Once you change that energy, then you will align with different people. You will align with the people who you are now attracting because energy attracts energy. Um, it's that whole saying, uh, misery loves company. Miserable people. When you feel miserable, you attract the miserable Right. Okay. So that's pretty much all I got. I mean, that's really the three reasons. Um, I know that there's more, you know, there's could be up to five different reasons, but I'm really just going to really drop it there because really that's usually the reasons why our manifestations don't come in. I try to put all five together within you know, because there was actually five steps that I had learned and I try to put them all together within three steps because um, I think that that's, it's better. It doesn't make the, you know, it doesn't make it that horrible. Um, just remember though, guys, too, that you are walking a pathway and that, you know what, you need to bring the 5D, that visualization into 3D, right? So uh, make sure that you are visualizing as much as possible um, and try to get it as, you know, to the point where you can smell it, feel it, if you can smell it and feel it, right, even if it's a man or a woman and you can smell their cologne, visualize, smell that cologne, like really smell it, uh, really feel the softness of, you know, whatever it is, right? Smell, I mean, if you've got a home, maybe you can smell the pine salt, however it is, really visualize that um, because that's really going to get it into your subconscious and that's really where it is. Make sure you are scripting. Okay, I script, script, script. I have like... I actually got my own book and I'm just scripting, scripting, scripting. Okay. So, and make sure that when you are scripting, use that imagination. Try to be as childlike as possible. You know, um, I think it's going to be kind of harder for the, 
the upcoming generations because they use they don't use your imagination the way that we used to as kids you know playing with barbies and teddy bears and gi joe and the kids now they have you know playstation and all these things you know and it was i think for them it's going to be a little harder for them to learn how to do these things when they don't use their imagination you don't use your imagination when you're sitting on playstation right it's already given to you they're not reading books the way we used to read books and making them you know feeling like they're coming to to um to life so use those things though guys and um as much as possible okay and until next time peace and love and i'll pray for each and every one of you that we need our manifestations to come through because that's what we do right that's what we do and remember we're manifesting every day it's just where's the big stuff right where's the big stuff we want this good things really good things okay thoughts feelings and actions my friends till next